he got Tim Anderson to ground out. A terrific showing on a huge national stage for Sandy. And he begins to grow throughout the day. Yeah, he's just warming up. 96 in the first, not a big deal. Oh, second pitch. <laughs> 98. He's got a sinker and a slider and a changeup. Did he go? Behind the that has been the case. J.J. Bladé out patrolling center field today. First pitch strike to Van Mee over a week. He started that Friday night game in game one against the Phillies. And then pitched that one inning at 126 and two-thirds. I think he's warmed up. And another strikeout for... The watch, the price of admission. He's unbelievably nice. Hayes, the third baseman for the Pirates, one for seven in the series. Had his nine-game hit streak snapped last night. Sandy ahead, 0-2, and, and here it comes. 100, just a little. And he's just probably going to throw a slider at 92 now. <laughs> and good he was in that first inning with those three strikeouts. His first pitch of the second is upstairs. but this First inning, three punch outs, two on the slider, one on the changeup. All 90 miles an hour plus. And that's after the fastball was up to 100. For over a week. But I would think it's off anyways. That's unfair, regardless. They can be in the prime of their prime. Gamble, Mitchell, and Allen. The 2-2 pitch he is into left field. Sanchez. Marlins shift the defense to the right side against Gamble, who fouls it straight back. It's no wonder Florida chooses gas. Florida City gas, naturally better. Ground ball to Astudio. It was over. Somebody's got some good starters. All four of those starters right there I take on a team. Yeah. He's scary. <laughs> yeah, you, you might be right. Bounced. Wendell. Two away. Quick. Yeah. Try to figure something <laughs> out for him. Fouled at the plate. Nothing in one. Out of the inning, right? You want to be able to get the first guy. Well, this season, the opponents are hitting a dollar sixty-two. Nugget of why he's a Sunday scary. Team game streak of at least seven innings or more. And a called strike three. He's got an opponent's OPS at just 530. First pitch is in there for a strike. And what's a 14 strikeout game earlier this year against the Braves. And that still remains as the and the only one that was a complete game. Miles Michaelis had a so he's he's throwing a lot of pitches, but it's as Donnie always says, it's free and easy. He never seems to break a sweat. And that fewest among any qualified starting pitcher. So he's thrown a lot of pitches, but they're really efficient pitches. Fast. He doesn't throw many pitches. That's a foul ball wide at first. But they're going to try to go for the fastball up and in. And Cruz with a high fly ball deep to right field. And that is a home run. Go back to the fastball up and in. O'Neill Cruz does not miss it. Have been, would have been. Well, a strikeout. No. Homer, yes. That was a great spot. What was that, 99? And those are two guys right there, Sandy and O'Neill. Really, Sandy has a phenomenal delivery. And he has another strikeout, too. That's his fifth Pirates catcher. Delay takes 100 in the water. On him for a little while. That's up the middle, caught by Wendell. Throws back to first, but Delay gets there. 20th start of the season. Back to the top of the order. That one kicks away. Did the other, and you're just trying to kind of become a goalie back there. 
And that's why you see this mound visit right now. Because he's been games. So that's why they play the games, they say. Pours in a strike at 99. Get yourself a slider or a changeup. That one missed up and in. Two batters, not an inning, two innings. Absolutely. He said young guys, exactly what you're talking about. Young guys have a tendency to spiral. And Sandy just needed to look. To, to lock it back in. You do it, and you earn that. One two pitch to Hayes is a called strike three. So Sandy does lead Sunday afternoon with the Marlins trail one nothing last of the fourth inning. Sandy goes back to here in the fourth. A little upstairs to Gamble. Marlins will head to Cincinnati after this one. Start a four-game series with the Reds. See them for the first time this year. Trevor Rogers, Nick Lodolo will be the starter tomorrow. But you know he's got that double play ball dialed in. Last time he walked nearly as many was that start against the Seattle Moore innings. Every time out for Sandy Alcantara. Fouled away left side, still Owen below him. He's had nine outings this year of at least eight innings. No other team, no other team. He's the, so the Astros and Yankees, the best pitching staffs in baseball. Yeah, those teams can pitch. And in years past, some of those numbers might be skewed because of an innings if he wanted to. And some nights he wants to. That's lined foul. Friday and a Saturday, you mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Friday, 9. Well, I've, I've joked with them before. Like, Philly suffered the loss. Gave up just two earned runs. Gets the strike out there. All of their matchups in a couple of weeks span. Same thing with the Reds over the course of a week. Four in Cincinnati, three against pieces going forward. And it's down the right field line, but foul. Quick. Well, the last time I've seen him at 60 pitches before. Out to center. Blade drifting back, reaching for the wall. Plenty of room. A step or two onto the warning track, and he makes the catch. That was down at the bottom of the zone, but still the heat. To first, backhanded by Aguilar, sharply hit, steals, or three runs, through a complete game, the team didn't score, to, I mean, it's amazing, right? We say it all the time, the old ad could have sat on your couch or on your device on the beach or wherever and watched every game in baseball and seen something you'd never do that. Complete games are, unless Sandy's going, few and far between. Um, two homers, two stolen, stolen bases. Yeah. Birdie got two bags just during that sentence. <laughs> Sutsugo. That one's 93 miles an hour. That's usually not what you see. And that's a slider at 91. Here's your little indication. Knowing Sandy and having worse. It's like, okay, guys, you, you had your chance in the third. Right? You got the run on the board. The wall and evens it up. Maybe a different gear here for Sandy, who pours in a hundred miles an hour. Triple digits moving a baseball like that. Yeah, I think he's a block back in. Certainly seems that way. That's at a hundred. Looked like it had I missed that one again. That one had all tough for you. I'll just. Throw 100 right down the middle. To third. Astudio throws across his body and the one run on one swing. And after that, I think they might have poked the bear because as we've seen, he's gone 100. He's been pegged at 100. Slider, change up. But now Sandy's got a lead. 
probably not good for the Buckos. Well that's the thing the Marlins they did score the eight runs on Friday night in game one of this series but shut out again last night they had been so then you make something happen and Wendell lays down the bunt and that's a single and then Rojas bunts them over to second and third the ball to the outfield with a runner on scoring position in third base less than two outs you got to do all the little things that you can in the game well gets a knock first and second nobody out Miggy Rowe drops it down and then Aggie with the big hit through when it comes to the run support it hasn't always been there for him but it hasn't affected how he's pitched at all pitching matchups throughout we'll see Hunter Green Castillo and Graham Ashcraft in that four game set in Cincinnati no shortage of offense between he and Jim Salisbury he didn't take too kindly to the question the, the famous line from Bryce Harper a few years ago is that's a clown journalist Questions you know are going to upset an already frustrated player, but you have to sometimes. Right now, a little double play here. Baltimore chop going to be hard to turn two. They're not going to get one. Miggy's down. And Miggy communicating with Joey Wendell right now. Ostradio in on the grass as Ben Gamble lines it foul behind home plate. Taken down. To then create the double play. Runner goes, throw down to second is not in case of the strikeout. Inside corner four, Bill Madlock, a generation or two ago. Check swing fouled into the seats. And this is a Pirates team that was worse than baseball when they came. Little too far in with a hundred miles. Loaded. You better have a chance to keep a run off the board. Gamble. Fly ball right center. Blade going back. Says he's got it. Makes the catch on the. As Cal Mitchell fouls it back. And I was thinking he's worried about. It. He's trying to win a ball game here. And you could maybe start to think that Sandy, who's approaching 100 pitches. Start with a low pitch count just over 100. Throw down to third and safe somehow. Two balls, one strike. Now the bullpen's again going out there for the Marlins. 100 for Sandy. He went. Gets it up. And then still directing traffic, Paul. He just told us to Leo before that pitch. Come on in. You're a little too far back. I can His Hayes at third. Nothing and one on Greg Allen. Grounds one to first, but foul. 0 oh and 2. All right, so here's my question. Been allowed to get into the over 110. I think the, that. Well, I think he's making the, you got a good matchup for Oka. Chopped to first, backhanded by Aguilar, feeds Sandy who steps on the back.